We're talking about inner healing and restoring the soul with John Elridge, the author of Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence, and Authority. John, you know we get so many hundreds and hundreds of phone calls every day, people with mental illness issues, depression, things on the inside. How do we pray about those kinds of things? Yeah, this is why I love partnering with Crossroads on this, because you guys are committed to this, to the healing of the brokenhearted. So let's start with the promise of Christ, okay? <clears throat> Isaiah 61, the Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me. Here's why I've come, Jesus says, to heal your broken heart, to heal those inner issues, memories, trauma, pain. That is the special work of the Lord. Of all the things He does in the world, gang, this is the thing He loves most, is healing human hearts, okay? So let's just start with this. The very first step in this is give him access. Open the door. Give him permission. You remember Revelation 3, 20? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Now that letter is written to Christians. Okay, he's talking to Christians and he's saying, let me in. So if it's an old memory, if it was a first girlfriend that broke your heart, if it was the loss of a dear friend, the natural human tendency is we close up, right? Because it hurts. What we need to do is open that place to the Lord and we invite His loving presence. Come into that memory, come into that loss, come into this, hear Jesus and work your healing in my heart. And you've had to practice this in your own life. You had a loss of a grandchild. Yes, yes, we lost our first grandchild a, a year and a half ago and it was absolutely traumatizing to us and of course traumatizing to our young son and daughter, their first child. and. And, and it breaks your heart. And gang, that's not a metaphor. When Jesus says the brokenhearted, the Hebrew literally means brokenhearted, okay? I was brokenhearted and I had to invite Christ in. Now, often it involves grieving. You, you've got to let the tears come. And sometimes it involves breaking agreements with the messages. I blew it. I didn't do enough. It was my fault, okay? No, I reject that. And Jesus, invite your healing presence here. Come and bring your healing presence. Now, I think this type of prayer, Greg, is best facilitated with someone else. If there's someone that can sit with you and pray with you into those hurt places, it usually goes better. We want to get this great book, and you'll learn more about that from John's book, Moving Mountains, Praying with Passion, Confidence, and Authority. With your best ministry gift, we'll get it into your hands. Real soon, 1-800-265-3100 or go online to crossroads.ca slash donate.